Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Rita Almusa, Master Esthetician Skin Expert, and I am going to unbox and swatch a new palette with you guys today. This is, can you even see it? It's so bright. The Diamond and Blush Palette by Natasha Denona. I am super curious about this. I have not tried this, so this is going to be live. We're going to do this together. And today, right now, I basically just have my normal routine. So I have my foundation. I've set my foundation with translucent setting powder. And I have a little bit of contour from Kat Von D, but zero blush and zero highlight. Because I wanted you guys to get a real look and feel for what this palette is going to do. Now this is a super expensive palette and I know there's been a lot of controversy as to if it's worth it. Is it magic? Let's find out. The first thing that I want to say is that it is very heavy. So it's a very well made palette. I feel like you could travel with this and it would still be safe, which is important because if you've ever broken anything while you're traveling, it's heartbreaking. So let's have a peek inside. Ooh. Cue the music. <laughs> okay, so it looks like what we're working with here, um, oh, these colors, oh my goodness. Can you see this? Oh, come on now. I mean, I haven't even tried these and Oh my goodness, I mean, it looks literally, so I know that they're, <laughs> they're really proud with the fact that, or she's really proud with the fact that there are literally like pressed diamonds in this one. So this is going to be the diamond powder. Um, I know, look, this little guy comes up here. So we have, this is the diamond row, obviously. This is the blush and this is the glow. Okay, so it looks like these two are liquid. I don't use liquid wash that much, so that's gonna take um, some getting used to, definitely. And then um, we have the glow here, so these are the highlights, I assume. Duo glow, extreme glow, and powder. Oh my gosh, too many options. Okay, well let's get going. Let's see what we're gonna do. Um, I know that if I'm gonna commit to a liquid blush that that needs to go on prior to the powder blush. Okay, so here we go. I'm a little nervous. Um, let's put on this cream blush. Oh, and just so you guys know, I am using the palette Daria. So this is, this should be for uh, medium to light. So this is Daria. Okay, here we go for the blush. I don't want to touch it. Here we go. Are we ready? Goodness. The damage has been done. Okay. So I'm just going to go with my normal technique, which would be to smile and go on the apples of my cheeks. So super pigmented. Oh, goodness. Definitely gonna be getting that lovely, youthful glow. <laughs> so I'm gonna just take my sponge, my beauty blending sponge by Mint Pear and just blend that out because I have a feeling that would make sense with liquid blush. Just blend it, and I'm just gonna blend it uh, back towards my ear from that high point of the apple of my cheek. Okay, so there is, ooh, is that even even, guys? Is that even even? <laughs> I think it's pretty. I mean, I'm gonna have to practice with it, but I think it's really pretty. I'm gonna do the uh, Precision Highlighter, the M35 by Mint Pear. And now we're going to apply this one. So this is the powder. I did. 
with the liquid. Just take it back a little bit. I mean, I'm putting on a ton, but I kind of want to try all of the products for you guys to see. I mean, that's a big commitment, right? Like a palette like this, you really have to love your blush and your highlighter to be, I mean, this is, I'm applying it a little heavy. This is definitely more than I would wear on a day. Maybe like this would be date night or something. All right, moving on. These are my initial thoughts. I think for the diamond cream and the diamond, I think I would save those as like brow bone highlighter and like eyeshadow, but I'm not quite sure I would put the diamond on my face. I'm gonna give you two reasons. Number one, I think it's a little intense and it would distract from anything else that you have going on. And I also feel like it might bring out texture. So wrinkles, crow's feet, acne scars, large pores, anything like this would be texture. Anytime you have any type of granules or diamonds or um, glitter in a product, it's going to amplify that texture. So I would save those for the eye. Um, I'm gonna go and move over to the glow side. So I assume that would be like the highlighter. And because I'm a little scared, I've downsized my brush, if you can see. So I'm gonna use the Crease Blend, um, number M38 by Mint Pear. Oh, it's such a pretty, it's like rose gold right here. Let's see. Can you see? Yeah. It's kind of pink, so I don't feel like that one should go too high on my cheek. I feel like maybe it should go. I'm not sure about that, guys. Do you see how it just made like things pop out? Let's try this one. This one looks similar to something like Champagne Pop to me, so it looks like something I've used before. And it applies pretty similar to Champagne Pop. I mean, if you do the math, Champagne Pop is pretty expensive too. So you get six, and this is not a sponsored post. I did not get sponsored to make this video. So I'm just gonna put a little bit here. See, I like to go below my crow's feet just so it doesn't amplify those wrinkles next to my smiley lines. And I'm gonna take this and go. I think it would be fun if I try some of these on my eyes. So I'm gonna do that. I'm actually gonna take some of those really pretty liquids. So let's try this cream base. What does this do? So it it looks like this on the finger. I'm just gonna try that on my eye. I actually don't have anything except concealer and setting powder on my eyes right now. So we're just gonna put that and see what that does. I went into this palette completely blind because I just wanted to, I didn't want anyone to tell me what to do with it. I wanted to see how easy and usable the palette is. I just saw a couple tutorials of someone like picking a blush from it and it looked beautiful. So I wanted to see what was going on with this palette. Let's use this pink rose gold right here. Let's use that. Oh my gosh, I've always wanted a beautiful rose gold eyeshadow and I have not found one that I love and I think this is it. I think this would work. Oh my gosh, what do you guys think? That's gonna be fun. I'm gonna go over to the other side. So see how I'm just putting it on like the lid at the end? Oh my goodness. Uh, it's gorgeous and I'll just I'll blend it out with a brush in a minute but I just want to get them on there with my finger oh wow that's really pretty guys I'm gonna take that same crease blend oh, that's what it's for and just blend
The cool part about this is you don't need a lot of product. I feel like I'm not using that much product. This should last a long time. These are super well packed and pigmented colors. Um, okay, so here we go. I think this is like saving the best for last. So I have used everything and now I'm using the diamond powder, which is what they are raving about. The center of my eye. And I'm also going to leave a little review afterwards on this video. In the description, I'll let you know if this irritates my eyes throughout the day because I have sensitive eyes when it comes to glitter, eyeshadows, and especially pink. Okay, so I went in and I added a few neutral shades to my crease from the Tarte Lit palette, the Tarte palette, Amazonian clay. But this is basically the final look using the beautiful blush. I'm like, I just wanna hug this. <laughs> I recommend this if you love blush and you love playing with different highlighters. If you're okay, like you've used that same blush shade for years, it might be fun for you to try something new. Um, but this is definitely for someone that wants to explore with different levels and shades of blush. So leave your comments below and let me know what you think. Be sure to subscribe and like this video and hit that little notification button to see more videos just like this one. I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a beautiful day.